What is up guys, welcome back to the video. So today we're actually looking at the fifth tier engineer. Now this mod has never been seen on YouTube before. It is going to be seriously awesome. You've probably seen what it does by the title and the thumbnail of this video. And yeah, it's gonna be really awesome. Make sure to like and subscribe if you do enjoy. Uh, unfortunately, this mod only works in like the regular assault mode. So I can't spam farms cause like it's Bonanza. Cause it's not Bonanza. We actually have to do stuff, which kind of sucks. But yeah, these upgrades are going to be seriously powerful. Like they are broken. And hopefully we're going to be able to do a nice late game match. Uh, the guy I'm playing, uh, I can't pronounce that name. He has a YouTube channel. He does awesome mod tutorials. I'll link it, the link to his channel in the description of this video. And of course, if you do like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment. Uh, tell me what other mod ideas I should do. Because this guy that I'm playing, he can literally make any mod. It's so awesome. Like he made this one. He's making a bunch of other ones. But yeah, if you give me ideas in the comment section, give him and me ideas, then hopefully we can do it. But yeah, this is going to be seriously awesome, guys. We're going to be able to destroy ZOMGs so quickly with these upgrades. Also, we have the Mortar for our fourth tower. I'm probably going to be using that uh, in conjunction with the other Engineer path. Because there are two Engineer paths, of course. So we have two new fifth tier, brand new fifth tier upgrades for you guys. And both of them are really cool. One of them, spoilers, shoots lasers. Or at least that's part of it. Let's remember, on one side you have the overclock ability, which makes a tower attack faster. But we've made that go to the whole, a whole new level. So it's not just going to be regular speed. Well, you're just, you're going to see what happens. And then of course, for the sentry gun side with like the, the traps, the balloon traps and stuff. Well, we've also buffed the sentries at absolute ton. Okay, so this guy, Tom, has a sniper right here. That's fine. I mean, sniper's not that great, to be honest. Like, he will literally struggle. Actually, no. I take it back. I would say he was going to struggle because, like, engineer sniper farm, that's not going to work if you want to go late game. But we have fifth tiers. Of course, that's going to work. It's going to work so well. Oh, my God. Let's get up a plantation as soon as we can. Also, let's just use this because it gives us like 72 eco. That's not actually bad at all. Also, we're leaking. Oh, my God. We actually need to get some more defense right here because I do not want to die. We're already down to 53 lives. That's not good. Let's get a couple of engineers right here. Let's just get another sentry gun or two. And we need to keep on farming. We got the village. I guess that's for camera detection. Uh, also, that farmer has such a big range. I didn't think it was that big, but I guess it is. That's kind of weird, to be honest. I always thought the range was maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe I'm just dumb, but that looks bigger than normal. Maybe it's part of the mod. I don't know. Maybe he's done more stuff. Okay, there are some camera balloons right there. That's fine. Uh, this is going to be our main one. So let's just get the cleansing foam. Wow, that was a really nice hit, Engineer. You really got that camera balloon right there. <laughs> oh my god, it completely missed. Okay, so as you can see, this is the fourth tier upgrade. You can see by the little green icons here. But look at this. We have a fifth tier upgrade. Only 5,100. It is the cheapest, most broken upgrade I have ever seen. Like, it should be way more expensive, but it's not. It's actually insane. It should be so much more money. Also, let's just get another cleansing foam just in case. I really would not like to die to camera balloons. That would truly suck. Uh, oh my god, he has the balloon chipper. Why Why do you have the balloon chipper? Why would you have the balloon chipper? Balloon chipper, sniper, and the engineer. That's such a weird combo. I guess if it works, it works though. Let's get a Banana Republic right there. Okay, see so ya. Yeah, we're only four minutes into this right now. And we've just about got enough money to get one of the upgrades. We're not going to get it just yet, though. We don't need it just yet, but we will get it soon. We'll get it fairly soon. I just want to get up a nice factory right here so we can actually get some nice money. There we go. Perfect. And of course, the Balloon Trap is going to be making us, uh, making us a bunch of money as well. Uh, I just need to get this one upgrade and then we're good. I'm not going to lie. He's actually like, I thought he would be struggling, but he's doing pretty well. He does tell me he's a noob at the game, but he doesn't look that bad at all. Although he's probably going to link to some of these camera balloons, dude. Actually, never mind, because that sniper is actually doing work over there. Look at that. That sniper, I mean, it's slow, but it's doing a decent job of catching half of them. And then the engineer gets all of the other ones. Whereas I am just relying on the, the cleansing foam, but that's all right. Okay, so let's um let's look at the other upgrade side, okay? So we're gonna put one right here at the bottom, and so we get four upgrades on this. Now remember, you got the normal overclock ability. Target tower becomes super powered for 60 seconds. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool upgrade. Uh, also, we need to make sure we don't die because we can literally die right here. We don't have that much. Uh, let's please get some more stuff. There we go. I'm just gonna get another balloon trap. But then look at this: 7,200 overclock perma boost. 
each tower you apply this to, apply this to, sorry, <laughs> will permanently be hypersonic with two times range. Two times the range. That's pretty cool. Let's just use a regular overclock right there. I mean, it's not going to do much. Also, oh god, I'm just going to get a big one. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to get a nice explosion right here. Oh, just in case, just in case. Please don't die. Please don't die. Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh, I'm just making sure we don't die. He's using a tower boost right there. He's scared. He's going to die, dude. And we can just get camo on this right there. Okay, so we can actually afford it, dude. Overclock Parma boost. Let's get that right there. And you can see the ability. I think it takes a minute to come back because it's like a very, very broken upgrade. But we're going to permanently uh, over, like overclock hypersonic tower i uh, hypersonify i don't know what to say guys but it is super awesome we're gonna do it on the mortar and we'll have the mortar right here there we go okay there we go let's use that oh my god look at that look at that look how fast it's firing this we have this permanently now guys oh please don't die please don't die please don't die please don't die Okay, guys, so we are back. I think this is like a round before he died. Uh, I'm going to leave that in there. <laughs> I think it was pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, let's get again the overclock perma boost. And this time, we're actually going to use it on a completely different tower. I want to use it on this dart monkey right here. We're going to have a hypersonic triple dart monkey. Look at this thing. I'm going to set it to last. Oh my god, look at that. It's absolutely shredding through everything right there. Let's actually set that right there. Um, actually, wait. Let's get... Actually, let's sell that. Let's just get a regular... Um, we'll get this to signal flare. Okay, so this will get all the camos and stuff. And this triple dart monkey is absolutely going to destroy it. Literally everything. Look at this. It is so good simply because of this one upgrade. It's actually amazing. Like, look at that thing. Isn't that just so cool? Oh my god, is he actually going to die again? Oh my god, is he actually going to die again? Oh my god, is he actually gonna die again? No way! Absolutely no way he dies again. Oh my god. Dude, I've tried to record a video five times today and it's gone wrong every single time. I swear if it goes wrong this time as well, that will be so sad. I think he's good. I think he's good. Oh my god, that was so close. <laughs> Oh, that would have been the sixth time. I would have not uploaded a video today. <laughs> I would have just turned my laptop off. We're good though. We're good. This is. Oh wait, no. It's 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 not. It's it didn't it didn't last forever. What is this? Okay, so pam apparently it's not permanent. Well, maybe it is permanent. I don't know. It felt like it just kind of like rubbed off right there. Rubbed off. It kind of stopped working right there. I don't know why. I mean, it's good now. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Let's just go. Let's just go for the uh, the upgrade that we know is gonna work, guys. Let's just go. For the fifth tier on the left hand side right here. We're getting the balloon trap. We'll get the super turrets. But yeah, that's kind of weird. I thought it lasted forever to be honest. But it is pretty cool. You can see like it has the green tower boost circle around it. So maybe when the tower boost circle goes. Uh, when it disappears it stops. I honestly don't know. Because it seems like it's going forever right here. But like when I looked at it over there. It didn't seem like it was like active or whatever. Also, what happens if I get a different upgrade? Is it still hypersonic? No, it's still hypersonic. Is it still hypersonic even when I do that? Pretty much. It is still hypersonic. I think I think it is actually forever. Maybe I just like did an oopsie. I don't know. But it looks like it's hypersonic still. Uh, I, look at that. Look at that. Look at his side. Wait, no. Look. It, yeah, okay. So it lasts like a minute. It lasts a minute, I think. I think it lasts a minute. I don't know. That's still insane though. Let's get, let's get a juggernaut right here. Let's get that right there, and let's overclog the juggernaut. Oh my god, this thing is ridiculous. Look at that. That's so amazing. But yeah, okay, let's go for the super turrets. We're gonna get it in... Oh, please don't die to camos. Thank you. Literally, if you die to camos... Oh my god, there are so many camos right there. You could actually die to that. Okay, he's using a tower boost right there. Okay, let's get the super turrets. Three, two, one. Let's go. I've got it. Okay, oh my god. So basically, what this thing does is it spawns a temple... For every regular sentry. How ridiculous is that? Also, as you can see on the right-hand side, it fires out lasers. But these aren't just regular temples. I'm pretty sure these are absolutely max temples. Like, look at this thing. It just, it just spawned another one. It just spawned another one. My god, this is ridiculous. This is OP. Okay, let's get rid of every single tower we don't need, dude. I don't need the farm. I'm going to keep that just in case. Uh, let's get rid of the farmer. But yeah, just look at this thing. It spawns temples. How amazing is that? It's demolishing everything right there. Dude, he really needs to get one of these. Anyway, let's have some more fun with uh, the overclock thingy. So if I get a regular engineer right here, and I get the sentry gun upgrade, and I use this, 
on this. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's going to spawn so many centuries. I'm selling it. I'm selling it before it comes too laggy. Isn't that just ridiculous, though? So, if you can do that to a regular century engineer thingy, what happens if we use the overclock, the hypersonic overclock, on this engineer? Well, I think, I'm pretty sure, it's going to spawn, like, an absolute ton of temples. I'm not, like, 100% sure, but let's see what happens, guys. I'm, I'm so hyped for this. Let's just get the range on that thing right there. Uh, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, these temples can detect camo and all that kind of stuff. They're basically really good temples. They are seriously good temples, guys. Uh, but, yeah, let's just get... I'm just going to get one of these, to be honest, just to make us a little bit of eco and a little bit of money every round. We're 10 minutes in right now. Um, I'm not going to... Oh, my God. These things are just so amazing, dude. They're like... These these are meant to just be regular sentry guns, but they're temples. They're so good. Um, and, of course, they have the max sacrifices. At least I think they do. Like, I can see the bomber. I can see the ice and the glue and the blades. And, like, the regular temple, it did seem really strong against the mobs. So, it looks like you can consistently have two on the side at once. And sometimes you have three. I mean, that seems fairly broken, dude. Like, that's, that's so much. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to go for another one. I'm actually going to go... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. If I got, like, a ton of these... If I got a ton, absolute ton of these... Um, would that basically mean I can have more than 100 temples on the screen at one time? Because I have a feeling that's exactly what that means. If I keep on getting these, like, I'm just going to have so many temples on my side, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, look how good those temples are! They're so good! Has he used the overclock on the temple or something? Because they looked way too good. So yeah, what happens if I use it on a regular temple? Does that- Oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at the blades! Look at all the sacrifices! Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Let's sell- oh, I'm going to sell all these temples. I don't want new temples. I just want the one- Look at that! Look at the hypersonic temple right there! That's absurd! That's so cool! Okay, I'm going to get another hypersonic thingy. There we go. It's not permanent, though. Definitely not permanent. It did not last forever. It lasts like a minute until the boost wear wears off. Or the temple kills itself. Because that's exactly what happened right there. Oh, we've already got five temples on the screen, dude. This happens so quickly. Okay, so what my idea is, and I'm not going to do it just yet... What happens if we use this ability on one... Oh my god, that's so many temples. What happens if we use the ability on one of those things? Yeah, I think it's just going to spawn a ton of temples. I mean, we have to try it, right? We have to try it to see what happens. It's exactly what I'm going to do. We're going to spawn so many temples on the screen at once. Imagine if you get like a thousand plus temples. Let's see. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it when we're 17 minutes into the game. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure that's about round 43 that when the ZOMG is going to come out. That is when I'm going to use it on one of the engineers. Oh my god, look at this. The BFBs are just instantly destroyed. I'm going to send one ZOMG. How well does he do against one ZOMG? Also, I think he has a high... Oh, look at that. Look at that. He has a hypersonic sniper. Oh my god, it's completely stooled the ZOMG right there. And, yep, those temples, I'm pretty sure they're max temples. They're doing a lot of damage right there. Okay, so let's use one of these on that one because it just spawned. Look at that. That's so laggy. Oh my god, it was doing insane damage though. That's insane damage. Look at the range on this thing as well. That's unbelievable. It has a whole map range. I think that's actually where all of them do. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> I'm dumb. I'm really dumb. So what happens if you use it on a 0, zero dark mark here? Does it actually... It doesn't look like it makes the range any bigger. I'm pretty sure it says it makes the range two times, but it didn't look two times to me, but it's okay. Yep, 20k in there. Very nice. Now we can afford more things. Um, how long... Okay, we're around 35 right now. I'm going to send him a massive BFB rush, guys. We're going to send... Uh, oh, wait, no. He still has that hypersonic sniper. Wait, if I send a couple of BFBs and then send one ZMG behind it... It's surely he's not going to be able to stall everything with that one hypersonic sniper. At least I hope not. Let's see how well that does against him. And it looks like the ZMG is pushing on his side slightly. But nope, nope. Those temples are just going to make short work of it, man. They're really strong temples. And look at my side. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I have 10 temples on my side at once. That's ridiculous. I'm going to sell that one. I'm going to sell this one. Where is our last one? Okay, it's right there. Wait, let me just get let me just get one right in the middle right here. I want it right there. Uh, let's get it a max one. There we go. Super turrets. Uh, collect that. And if we sell this, what's going to happen, guys? I don't... I, wait, I can't sell it immediately because then we won't have any temples on the screen. But this is the engineer we're going to be using this ability on. And we're going to see what it does. And yep, if we use it on that... Oh my god, it just makes a, an absolutely unstoppable temple. 
That is a completely unstoppable temple right there. Nothing is going to get past that. Those blades just look super cool. Firing out. And actually, I don't know how many directions it is, but it's a lot of directions. Okay, I'm going to sell that one. I'm going to sell that one. Uh, we're going to sell this one because we got these stupid sentries on it. I don't want the sentry guns. And now we're just going to wait. We're almost at around 43, and that's when I'm going to use it. These, obviously, $5,000 or whatever is too cheap for this upgrade. It should be a, it should be 200k. Yeah, I would say about... Actually, no, because it spawns two slash three temp. No, I would say 250k for the upgrade would be, like, a reasonable price. Obviously, we can't do it in this game, though, because otherwise we would never be able to afford it. But I do think that's, like, a fairly fair price for it. Fairly fair. Can I even English? Well, technically, that's right English. It just sounds weird. Um... Oh, God. Round 40 right here. These OMGs are going to be tough. I'm actually going to send him two. I want to see how well he does against that. And, of course, we can use this on this temple for the time being. Look at that. It's so cool. It's so many explosions, so many blades, so many tornadoes, and it's gone. That is one drawback. Like, the temples, if you do boost them, they kind of, they can completely disappear on you. Which, which kind of sucks, but that's, it's all right. I think we have 20k in this, surely. Okay, 14k, that's not bad. I mean, not that we need the money. We absolutely do not need the money. Uh, I'm really impatient, dude. I just want to use this ability on this engineer right now and see what happens. Like, seriously, I just want to do it, dude. Okay, but before that, maybe we can experiment with a hypersonic big one. Because that's pretty fun. That's pretty fun, to be honest. Let's get another one of these. There we go. Don't want to send camos. Let's get another one of those. Overclock perma boost or whatever. Let's see how much damage this can do to BFBs and stuff. I mean, is it really doing that much damage? I, I feel like it's doing okay. Uh, it's definitely popping stuff. I don't know if it's that good, though. Uh, okay, dude, I'm just going to go for it. I just want to go for this right now. Oh, my God. Okay, this could crash the game. We got one more round. I'll do it around 43. It could crash the game. I'm really hoping it won't crash the game because that, that's just stupid. I want to see how well it does against everything. Oh, man. It, it could completely fail and it won't spawn any more temples. Or it could be, it could work too well and spawn thousands and thousands of temples. Um, but I guess we'll see. As soon as round 43 hits, we're going to do it. I've got it ready. Select tower to overclock. Please, can this round end already? I just want to test this out, dude. I just want to test this out. Oh my god. It's taking forever, dude. Okay, there we go. Let's test it out. Against the COG. Let's go. Oh my god, that's spawning so many. That's spawning so many. Oh, this is probably a mistake. Oh, look at that. Look at the temples. Look at the temples and the cleansing foam. This is so many temples. Oh my god. What is this? I've spawned like a thousand temples on my screen. This is a thousand plus temples right now. No way the game is going to crash. It's going to crash. There is no way that the game doesn't crash. <laughs> look at all of those blades. This, this is what, well, if you guys ever wondered what a thousand temples looked like, You've got your answer. This is a thousand temples right here. It's so thick, you can't even see the color. It's just like, it's just like brown. Look at that. And they're still spawning. Wait, can I, can I sell the engineer? No, I can't, I can't click anything. I can't click anything on my side, man. It, it's, it's just, oh, he's done it as well. Oh my God. Why has he done it as well? Why has, oh my God, Tom. Oh my God. You've just done it as well. I, my laptop is not going to be able to deal with this, guys. Like, it's literally, it's just going to get laggier and laggier. I, I don't think we can go on like this, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was just completely ridiculous. Um, tell me in the comment section what mods we should do and stuff like that. And yeah, this, I mean, my game is eventually going to crash. As you can see, it's, it's literally a frame a second right now. But that actually destroyed a ZOMG in like one second, which is pretty cool. But yeah, uh, this isn't going to go away. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.